HCM Image 39 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 859. Among many new features, PeopleTools 859 delivers a redesigned home page that includes the movement of recently used and favorites, the home page drop down options, and notifications. In addition, the new global search field is at the top and center of the home page where you can access improved search based navigation. The Recently Used icon opens a left side list of menu options that you've visited. The Favorites icon opens a list of items that you've marked as favorites. The new global search box provides access to search navigation to help you find a specific menu or tile or to perform a global content search in a selected area. Selecting the Search in Menu field will bring up a list of your recently visited menu options as well as other highly visited pages. When selecting to search within content, you can search across all content, or if you select a specific content area, the search is specific to that area. Results will be limited to items that you have security access to. When using the navbar menu, options can be listed alphabetically and breadcrumbs are displayed at the top. On the right side, you'll see your list of notifications, both actionable items and alerts. You can navigate to the actionable items from the list and either navigate to or dismiss the alerts from the alerts list. For additional features in PeopleTools 859, see the PeopleTools 859 highlights video or the new features overview on My Oracle Support. This completes the PeopleTools 859 uptake in HCM feature description. Kibana Analytics features include the Benefits Utilization Dashboard and the Payroll and Global Payroll Insights Dashboards. PeopleSoft HCM delivers a new Kibana dashboard to help benefits administrators view and analyze benefits data. It provides interactive visualizations built using Elasticsearch indexes. Use the Benefits Utilization tile to access the Kibana dashboard for benefits. The Benefits Utilization dashboard includes several interactive visualizations. You can filter the data based on business unit, department, benefits program, and plan category using predefined filters. On the Kibana dashboard, visualizations come in different chart forms to display the data. For example, donut charts show the current employee count and the percentage of utilization in comparison to each plan category and plan type. The bar charts display the current count of employees that have enrolled or waived a specific plan and also show the current number and type of dependents enrolled for each plan. A line chart represents how many employees have enrolled for a specific plan over the past five years, providing you with insight into how plan enrollment has changed. And an interactive map shows the geographical distribution of employees. Here you can see the benefits utilization by employee's home state. Click on the visualization to filter the data further. This single click updates all the visualizations dynamically to reflect the change and adds the filter at the top of the Kibana dashboard. The employee details grid shows the data used in the visual reports in a tabular format. You can drill down further to see the benefit summary page for each employee. In addition, HCM introduces the Kibana dashboard for payroll applications. It includes interactive visual reports to help upper management review and analyze payroll costs for the organization quickly and easily. This dashboard is available in Payroll for North America and Global Payroll. The look and feel of this dashboard is similar across all three implementations with some application-specific differences. Let's take a look at the U.S. dashboard. Like any other Kibana dashboard delivered in PeopleSoft, you can refine the data you see on visualizations by adding filters and selecting a commonly used or custom date range. Each payroll cost analytics dashboard provides common filters to refine data for the specific application. 
The U.S. and Canadian dashboards let you filter payroll data quickly by company, business unit, department, and pay group. The Global Payroll Dashboard provides a currency filter. Based on the setup, visualizations show payroll amounts in the converted rates for all countries if you select a global currency. If you select a local currency, visualizations show results for those countries that use it. The dashboard includes visualizations in different chart forms to best present the data. For example, a simple list to show the total payroll cost and its breakdown numbers, and a line chart to show the trend of different payroll actuals. The dashboard for Canada has the same charts as the U.S. dashboard. For instance, a pie chart that shows employee population by type. The same chart is also available in the Global Payroll Dashboard, displaying employee population by employee classification. Layered pie charts to show total earnings by category and total deductions by category, and a bar chart displaying employer and employee taxes by category. In the Global Payroll Dashboard, Tax information is available in the line chart that displays category trends. Use the Inspect option to view the breakdown of the data used to build the chart and download the data to an Excel spreadsheet if needed. On the Global Payroll Dashboard, you can use the Map Visualization to view total payroll costs by world region. On the U.S. and Canadian dashboards, the map filters cost data by province and by state. The Tag Cloud visualization displays terms of common payroll costs like base salary, overtime, employer deduction, and so on, based on the categories you've defined. The larger the font size, the higher the payroll cost. The grid at the bottom of the dashboard shows all the data used in the visual reports in a grid format. From the grid, you can add filters to further refine data with or without the selected field values. This completes our demonstration of the Kibana Analytics feature. HCM delivers a new encryption framework that encrypts and masks sensitive data in your system. The framework includes an application engine program that encrypts and masks data that is stored in the database based on the encryption setup. Individual applications may have additional setup options to control the masking of data that appears on PeopleSoft pages. It provides flexibility in the setup to allow users with special roles to view data on pages in the unmasked format and to select data to be encrypted and masked by country. The pages for setting up and managing the framework are available in the Encryption Administration Navigation Collection. To comply with Notch's data security requirements, both Global Payroll for United States and Payroll for North America leverage the encryption framework to encrypt and mask bank account numbers in the database. Run the encryption process in Global Payroll for United States to encrypt and mask account numbers for payee bank accounts, deduction recipient bank accounts, wage statements, and source bank accounts. Here's an example of a masked bank account number on the Source Bank Accounts page. The process encrypts and masks bank account numbers in Payroll for North America for direct deposits, garnishments, paychecks and advices, and Source Bank Accounts. While you see masked bank numbers on almost all of these online pages, bank numbers are always unmasked on transmittal files generated for banks to process direct deposits and child support garnishments. Payroll for North America currently has installation options to mask account numbers that appear on direct deposit pages for administrators and employees. These options control the masking of account numbers on the pages, not the encryption status of the database. In this example, the Request Direct Deposit page shows a masked bank account number after an encryption run. The option to mask direct deposit account numbers for administrators is enabled in the system. Use the Edit Account Number field to update the value if needed. This completes the HCM Encryption Configuration Feature Description.
The Enhanced Global Address Configuration feature gives your organization control over how to display address fields by country. The new address formatting allows customers to configure for country addresses, like South Africa or Russia, which aren't delivered by Oracle. You can now select which address fields display on the data entry pages on both Classic and Fluid pages. The new Country Address Format table gives you more flexibility on how you display your address formats. The design enables you to configure address properties, such as field length, or identify if a field is required. You can also add your own cross-validation logic if the existing validation is not sufficient. When using the new Global Dynamic Address page for your data entry, the Entry and Validation page gives you the ability to add or remove an address field, as well as indicate other elements such as field order and prompt controls. These address enhancements are now available to use in HCM, including in recruiting, employee self-service, benefits, and health and safety. This completes the Enhanced Address Configuration feature description. To improve the user search experience, making it easier and faster to find position data, PeopleSoft HCM delivers a configurable search page for fluid position management. You can use the delivered search or configure it to use your own search criteria with fields like business unit, company, job code, and more. With configurable search technology, you can save or delete saved searches, use customized search fields, and manage recent searches. You can even configure the search results fields to display useful information for easy identification of a position. Configurable Search also enables you to identify the configuration of the ad page for a new position. This completes the Configurable Search for Fluid Position Management description. PeopleSoft HCM enhances the Time Reporter data feature by making it fluid and enabling administrators to create and manage enrollments in time and labor through a single navigation. Configure the search page for managed Time Reporter data based on your needs. The improved search experience makes it easier and faster for administrators to find an employee. For example, an employee with the Yes Enrollment status in the search result indicates that the employee is already enrolled. Select the chevron for an employee with the No Enrollment status to navigate to the Create Time Reporter data page. Use the Create Time Reporter data page to enroll a time reporter into the Time and Labor system. For employees already enrolled, selecting the chevron takes you to the Maintain Time Reporter data page. This completes the Fluid Time Reporter data feature description. PeopleSoft enhances the Fluid Candidate Gateway to utilize a dynamic screen reader mode without having to create a separate accessibility site. In this mode, the application and tools adjust as necessary to present items in a more accessible way for screen reader users. Applicants can enable or disable the screen reader mode using the Fluid Candidate Gateway menu. While registering or updating an account, the applicant can set screen reader mode as the preferred mode for subsequent logins. As an administrator, use the Site Setup page to control whether the external applicant can select the dynamic screen reader layout. This allows organizations to have a single recruiting site that handles applicants utilizing standard or screen reader mode. This completes the Applicant Preferences for Accessibility feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.